In this video we'll be looking at the I Know Magic Challenge on Hack the Box and it's a web challenge in the medium category and the description says can you get the profile page of the admin. So let's um, open up the docker instance, make sure we're filtering this through burp suite and that it's not blocking the traffic at the moment. Um, it can take a little while just for the docker to load up, yeah, there we go. See, we've got some error here. Let's just try and reload. All right, still got an error. Let's reload again. There we go. And we've got a login page here. Register, login. Let's have a quick look at the source. Doesn't look like anything of interest. We've got just our register and login pages here, and some um, some client side code for the login field. Let's um, close that down. Just try and log in as admin. Okay, not that easy. So we'll go to register, we'll try and register as admin, it's always something worth trying as well, just to see what happens. Um, email address, the good old a at a.com, and let's, I'm generating a secure password here because I, whenever I was trying this challenge previously, I just used a and it, it didn't work and then I had to fill in the form again. So let's try and log in, admin, admin, oh sorry, what did I put the password as? No, <laughs> admin and our securely generated password. And this takes us to this page, I know magic, user profile. Again, not too much here. We've got a logout.php, we have profile.php where we are at the moment. And if we have a look at the source code, no comments, no extra links, nothing of interest. Let's take a look at Burp Suite. If we go to our HTTP history and we can if we want to add this to scope, the, the URL we're dealing with, we can change this to filter and say we only want to deal with things that are in scope and there we go. Um, so we had our post, oh, um, let me change the layout of that a bit. Um, so we had our post request here and our response came back. Do we, we've got a PHP session ID here, Let's see if there's anything else. Okay, on the response of our login page there, you'll see once we logged in, we got this redirect and the redirect assigned us this cookie, uh, I know magic. So let's hit F12 here and have a look. And see we have this I know magic cookie, obviously the challenge is called I know magic, so it's a good uh, hint that we need to be focusing on this. Uh, you can see it's URL encoded because we have this percentage 3D at the end, which is going to be two equal signs. So let's go to burp sweep and go to our hack verter. it's going to automatically try and decode that it's actually only just um, taken the URL decoding off it so we could take a copy of that and go to decode here and then base64 decode paste that in And uh, you can see it's tried to decode that. So we don't have any meaningful plain text response. So um, <clears throat> from here, uh, we want to start doing some research to see if we can try and identify what the what we need to do with this cookie. So whenever I was initially solving this challenge, there was quite a lot of information already available due to the age of the challenge, um, and I know that the vulnerability is a padding oracle attack uh, or the intended solution for this so let's bring this up essentially um, this is an attack on the CBC encryption where a padding oracle can be used to determine one character at a time what um, what the correct bytes are so I'm not going to go through all the technical details of this, what I will do is refer to this Medium article which I saw on it, which um, goes through a very good explanation with some diagrams as to how the actual attack works. Um, and also covers the challenge as well. So this is all out there, there's plenty of write-ups for this challenge. I'm going to go ahead and 
take a look at the method that we can use to do a do this attack and there's a tool called Padbuster so let me check the help here. Padbuster takes in a URL, it takes in an en encrypted sample, a block size and then these potential options as well. So you can uh, if, if authentication is required and things like that. Um, so for us we would want Padbuster we want to grab a copy of the URL, so let's close this for now. Let's grab the URL and want to paste the URL. The encrypted sample that we want to test, let's grab that as well. F12, okay. Oh, oh great, okay. Paste that in, that's our encrypted sample. The block size, I was playing around with this earlier, the block size is 8. Um, and the options, we want to set the cookies. And then grab our cookie values. Let's grab this one. And then grab our magic one as well. Paste both those in there. Are we missing anything? We've got our cookies, we've got our encrypted sample, block size. Okay, so let's try and run that. See, no error, string was provided, start in response analysis. So it's going to try and determine what, um, it's going to ask us to confirm what uh, an error looks like compared to a successful, you'll see here. So error code, um, response code 200 is successful of this length compared to response 500 of this length. And it just wants us to confirm that the ID marked with 2 is the error. So we'll hit 2. And now it's going to go through each um, byte at a time, and this can be quite a slow process. So you see the byte eight, byte seven. It's going to go through and do each block, um, and it's starting block one of four to try and get through this full cookie value. So um, What I'll do is I'll speed up some of this video. This is going to run. Don't don't worry if you're running this on your end and it's running a lot slower. I'm going to speed some of this up, and I'll just come back in whenever, um, whenever we whenever. The And there we can see that the four blocks have completed. We got our user value for the role. So this is the full um, this is the full cookie is user is equal to admin, role is equal to user. So we want to go ahead and modify this and then we want to send a new encrypted value. It's given us our decrypted hex and our decrypted base64 here as well. So if we check the um, help there again, you can see that we have a plain text option with the plain text to encrypt. So we could run through this again and actually give it a value that we want to encrypt. So let's um, let's send it the same value here and send also plain text, plain text, and we want to send it a new cookie, so let's copy this. Uh, oh no. 
I just hit paste again, didn't I? Okay. Um, plain text. And we want to send this, but we want to change the role to admin. And let's try and run through that. It's, it's um, giving us the same thing here, no error string was provided. So we're going to need to let it know which is the response. Give it the option two. And again, a little bit of a slow process. I'll speak. See it's finished the final block and we now have our encrypted value. So let's take this new cookie and let's paste it in here. Let's refresh the page. And we do not have a flag. Let's Okay, um, I believe the issue there is that I didn't escape these quotes. Let me try this again. Okay, again, this is going to take a little while to run through. I'll try and speed up the process. Okay, and that's finished. We've got a new encrypted value. This time it did four blocks, so that makes more sense. Um, I probably should have decrypted the um, the the decrypted value it gave last time. Where was it? Up here. I probably should have decrypted this. Oh, sorry, de decoded um, base sixty four. Decoded that because I'm assuming that maybe. Although it shows here the ASCII doesn't doesn't have any escapes on it. Alright, well let's try it out and see whether it works. We'll take a copy of that, we'll paste it in here, F5, and there we go, we've got the flag. Alright, hope you've enjoyed this challenge. Um, check out that Medium article that I brought up earlier if, if you want to have um, a, a good explanation as to what the padding oracle attack is and um, the concept behind it. And any questions, comments, leave them below. Thanks.